Hi, my name's Adam and welcome to another STG Global how-to video. So today we'll be doing a walk-around pre-start. Important to keep in mind with our HDV 6000, it also applies the same principles to our three, our four and a half, our eight and our 16,000 litre VAC trucks. So when we do the first pre-start, we like to do a visual external pre-start. Now I'll preface this by saying I'm not a diesel mechanic and uh, I'm certainly not an expert in hydraulics. However, this is something any operator could do, is just go walk around the truck purely from a visual point of view to make sure that things are in place where they should be. Everything looks how it should be. Uh, there's no leaks at all to the naked eye. This um, makes sure that the truck is uh, safe to mobilise out to site. So I'd like to start at the passenger side and walk around from there. So I'll start at the mirrors, make sure they're, they're not damaged. The last thing you want to do is start driving the truck and realise the mirror's already damaged. So we walk through there, looking at here, the side lenses here from the indicators, everything looks as it should. I'm looking underneath as well, I can't see any oil, oil spills. Coming through the tyres here, uh, at STG we'll fit wheel nut indicators to make things a lot easier, but as you can see they're all fitted correctly, pointing the right way, we know that tyre's ready to go. Uh, the toolbox here, this one happens to be empty, so we're not going to have any uh, flying debris out of there, but if you were to have any tools or signage, you certainly want to make sure that's secure before you head off to site. Coming through the second steer tyre here again, wheel nut indicators, we go up all our reflected decals where they should be, Handle's locked in position, so the door's going to be safe for travel. Then we step back, beacon's up there. Again, we'll go through operation later, but this is just purely a visual, just to, to make sure everything is as it should be. We uh, may have had a crew out working night shift last night. We're not sure uh, how they ended up, so we want to make sure everything's uh, ready to go before we head off. Again, we're looking down here at the jetter pump, all the hydraulics fittings, everything looks in place. Uh, it's important not to be pulling or on hydraulic hoses or fittings. Quite often they're under pressure, so we don't want to be touching them. But to the naked eye, it all looks good. Everything looks tight. I can't see any hydraulic fluid underneath, uh, which is a good sign. So we'll move through here. We see the cyclone separator. That's all done up nice and tightly. Not going to swing open in travel. The boom is stowed away. We can see the vacuum tank is stowed away correctly too in the brackets and the cones there on the top of the cyclone. So we know that's right for transport as well. Things like these, the caps here, they're locked on. Cam locks in its place with the safety chain. Fuel caps on also. Walking through the truck, just have a quick look at the mud flaps under here. All the D-shackles are in place. Chains are nice and tight. Again, all the reflective decals are there. Wheel nuts. Toolbox is secure. All the handles are in place and locked, so nothing's going to come out in transport or as we turn a corner. Just looking up the top here, you can see the boom is in the cradle as it should be. It means it's been put away correctly after its last use. And you see the handrails here too. There and their guides for transport as well, locked away safely. Moving towards the back of the truck, just looking at the mud flaps here. We've got all our tail light assembly, everything looks intact. We've got the mud flaps there. We've got our reflective chevron at the back here. And also just here, like your gurney hose, that's stowed away. Just little things like that important. You don't want to be driving off. Next thing you know, you see the gurney hose is driving out the back. So they're stowed away. Again, you're looking up here. All the lights are there where they should be. We've got the door locking pins here. They're closed. Gate valves are locked. Uh, you've got your end cap here, Travis clamp, secure. And you've got your six inch end cap here. Cam lock secure again. Gate valve locked. Uh, on the back of uh, this particular truck where we're doing the uh, pre-start on, we've got the Morikaiza jetting reel. That's all secure, locked away, so we know we're right to transport as well. Again, on the other side, door locks here, there, there. Pins are all where they should be. Again, the second gurney hose, that's locked away. Stepping back, mud flaps, all good. I'm looking under here, looking under the ground. I can't see any fluid, any hydraulic leaks, engine oil leaks, fuel leaks. Another good sign. Wheel nut indicators are all in place. Uh, we've got our cage toolbox here. It's not overloaded, so that's fine. Everything's secure in there. Looking up from this angle, hydraulic hoses, 
I'm just running my eye over all the fittings there on the elbows. I can't see any sign of any leaks, which is great. The handrail here is also stowed away. Just going through here too, looking at the exhaust, everything looks good. Got the fire extinguisher stowed away again. Filters all where they should be. Another six inch cam lock fitting there. On your bag house with the safety chain, so that's all looking good. Looking through the steer tyres, all the indicators. Again, just making sure the roller door in your cabinet, that's all locked away as well. Toolbox, all shut up. Perfect. Going through the wheel nut indicators again, we just go on this side here, making sure the mirror's as it should be. And then finally just coming around again, again indicators, looking at the front headlights, everything's intact. And as I mentioned, we will actually go through and operate all these. This is more of a visual, just to make sure that everything is as it should be. You don't need to be a diesel mechanic or a hydraulic fluid expert, but these are things that any person would have a look and if it doesn't look right, then by all means you'd want to seek some assistance of your diesel mechanic workshop uh, manager. But uh, as it is, this has been a successful uh, pre-start walk around and uh, the truck looks uh, as it should. Now we'll move on to the, uh, the internal uh, pre-start and uh, making sure everything actually works as it should before we mobilise the site.